guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara, and I'm a little bit under the weather, so that's why my voice sounds kind of strange, but we're just gonna go with it. Thank you to Clinique for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna share with you guys one of my new favorite products from them a little bit later in this video. Um, and yes, it's a part of hashtag adulting. Gotta take care of your face. Okay, so for today's video, I kind of wanted, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I wanna share with you guys what I believe to be like the best survival kit for you guys when you move out on your own for the first time. Here are some of the things you absolutely need in your apartment. You need to have like your hashtag adulting survival kit that you're gonna probably wish you had if you don't get it beforehand. And if you guys have been living on your own for a while, these are things that you'll probably go, oh my gosh, yes, I was just needing that one thing last week or I really could have used that. So it doesn't really matter if you're just now moving out. These are just really good things to have on hand no matter what. So be excited. We're gonna be splitting this survival guide up into three different parts. The first is self-care, taking care of yourself. The second is home improvement. I'm gonna show you what you guys need to have around the house in case something goes awry and you just kinda of need these things. And then the third is going to be about feeding yourself, feeding others, and just things that happen in the kitchen. Just good things to have on hand in the event that food takes place, which it does. It should, if you're adulting the right way, you know? But before I can help y'all adult well, subscribe to my channel because we make great videos every single week and we love new subbies, so hit the subscribe button and thumbs up this video. Okay, so let's start with self-care. Okay, so when it comes to self-care, it's something you have to just embrace. If you're the kind of person that doesn't like to wash their makeup off at night, doesn't like to wear sunscreen, you need to change your ways because as you get older, your skin is not as forgiving. But the first thing I wanna point out is this new Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I've been using this guy for about a week now consistently um, and I'm literally obsessed with it. I love it because it's not super thick but it's super hydrating. So especially in the summertime, like, the worst feeling is when you get out of the shower and you're trying to put all of your stuff on and you're like sweating. Using this just seems to absorb in my skin. It makes my skin really smooth and great for like a first layer before I put on my makeup. And the best part is it's oil free, which I love. Um, it has the water jelly texture, which means it's super lightweight and still super hydrating. And it doesn't leave any residue, which is great. It provides 24 hours of lightweight hydration. And the best part is it does protect your skin against all the pollution and all the stuff and the crap that's out in the air that you just, your skin kind of hits whenever you walk out your front door. Um, and it kind of creates that nice barrier so it protects your skin, which is wonderful. But this is something I highly, highly recommend. If you guys want to try this out, I'll add a link below. You guys can learn more about it and order it or you can go visit a Clinique counter near you and pick up a bottle. And again, I love it during summertime, so I highly recommend it. Okay, number two, the second thing you guys need to get in the habit of is taking off your makeup. Now let's be real, when you're adulting, you probably have a job or you're in school full time and you're tired, right? So you're just like, you get home and you lay on the sofa and you watch an episode of Friends or five episodes of Friends and you fall asleep. Well, here's a great way to avoid that. Do what I do, get yourself some makeup wipes, put it in a little box that you can slide underneath your sofa and whenever I get home and I'm super tired, I can take out my contacts, I put my glasses on, I have my little makeup wipes right there, and as I'm watching TV, I can take off my makeup. I usually do wash my face before I go to bed still, but in the event that I fall asleep, at least my makeup is off. That is like a total win if you're the kind of person that does not ever wash their face. Get yourself some makeup wipes and put it underneath your sofa. Number three, facial masks. I'm sure you guys have seen, it's all the rage right now, those paper facial masks. I love them because I can put it on my whole face. It's super moisturizing and you can clean the house. I do it sometimes when I have a long drive if I'm in traffic, um, but they're just like kind of a fun, easy, quick way to get some good hydration and um, kind of just take care of your skin. Number four, sunscreen. I've always said this, sunscreen is amazing if you guys don't wear it on your face every single day. I don't care how old you are, I don't care if you wanna get a tan, you're still gonna get your face tan. Put sunscreen on your face, get one with zinc in it, and I don't know guys, I just like, if you don't wear sunscreen, get some sunscreen, it helps. Last but not least, if you're the kind of person that puts all their makeup and their makeup brushes in a makeup bag and it's gross and ugly and disgusting, there's just so much bacteria in there, don't do it. Put your makeup in nice, clean containers, organized, clean your brushes daily, get in the habit of just organizing and having clean, beautiful makeup storage. Because you're a grown up now, you need to do it. And the question of the video is, 
What is like the worst part of adulting for you guys? Like what is like the one thing you hate the most? Hate's a bad word. What's the one thing you dislike strongly the most about adulting and growing up? Leave it in the comments below. Okay, for the home improvement section of your survival guide. Here are some things that you absolutely need. Okay, so in each category, I'm giving you guys a highlight. The last category highlight was my new moisturizer. The new highlight for my home category, home improvement, is a vacuum. I highly recommend a cordless vacuum that works really well. Um, guys, your vacuum you're gonna have for stinking ever. Get yourself a good vacuum. It is like a big purchase, save up your money, borrow your neighbors while you're saving, just it's, it's a big deal. It's like a rite of passage, get a good vacuum. Number two, second thing I love, mounting putty. Mounting putty is a lifesaver. It is literally, you can literally use it for so many different things, including if you need to make sure your picture frames are straight and they're not lopsided, you put this under each end of the frame, push it up against the wall, and you're perfect. Stabilizing something on a tray. If you have a candle that's lopsided, you put this underneath it. This, I mean, there's just so many different uses. This is like your little random, product that you're just gonna like, it's gonna be really great. Now even if you're not a very handy person, I still recommend you get one because now you live on your own and you're probably gonna need one. Getting a drill is a really big deal. It's not that expensive. You can get a drill for pretty inexpensive and especially if you're hanging pictures and stuff, if you have like something heavy or a TV, you wanna make sure you get an electric drill and not necessarily a hammer and nails for that sort of job. A really good time to invest in a drill is during the holidays because they have really good packages where it comes with all the goodies that go with the drill. That's what I did. So wait for the holidays to get that. If you do have like simple pictures and stuff, it's always really good to have a hammer and nails. Having different sized nails is also really helpful. Because sometimes you just have a little itty bitty picture frame. You don't need a ginormous nail for that. You just need a little nail for that. So this is actually, it was a gift to me from my mom. Thanks mom, I really use this little stocking stuffer. This was a stocking stuffer from Restoration Hardware. Super cute, it's actually a screwdriver kit. Seven different types of screwdriver heads. I've used this thing like, I mean, every apartment I've ever had. It's really great. One thing I really love, I have two of these. This one I keep all of my like old random screws. If I have like an old light fixture from a rental, um, I put all the hardware in this box. I always put everything in this box because when I move out, when I need to put all the original fixtures back in the walls before I leave, I go to this box, I know exactly where all the little nuts and bolts are. And then sometimes you guys, if you guys ever buy anything from Ikea, they use Allen wrenches for everything. They are supposed to give you an Allen wrench with whatever you buy, but sometimes they do not. So I recommend getting one of these guys. It has like nine different size Allen wrenches. It's just really good to have. These are things that, you know, if you aren't super like tool-like in, you know, your home life with your parents, you didn't know you needed these things, these are some basics you should always have. And if you're scared of these things, embrace them because they will make your life easier and they do not bite. Okay? And you can do it. Girls can do tools tool. Tools tool. Let me redo that. <clears throat> Girls can use tools tool. <sighs> Girls can use tools too. Girls are strong. You don't need a boy to do all your tool stuff. And if you have your own tools and you're single, I think a guy is gonna be like, whoa, that's pretty legit. Okay, so here, ladies and gentlemen, I thought originally the vacuum was my highlight. I take it back. The vacuum is no longer my highlight. This is my highlight. I'm breaking the rules. I'm doing more than five in this category because it's so magical. Have you ever had a fly in your house? You can't quite get it. And you have a fly swatter that's like the 99 cent one and you're running around your house trying to get the fly. This eliminates that problem. This, ladies and gentlemen, is considered an electric fly swatter. Would you like to hear it? All you have to do is hold the said fly swatter up in the air in the on position with the button pressed and allow the fly to fly right into your trap. He will get instantly shocked and die. I'm really sorry for those that are pro fly out there that are probably gonna leave me mean comments because I am not a fan of flies. Those of you that love flies, I would really like to have a coffee with you and figure out why you would like to save the flies of the universe because they are very, there's literally billions of them. What? Well, the 75 that I will kill in my lifetime, we can go without. <laughs> so I no longer get mad at flies running around trying to chase them, I can just get them right away. So anyway, if you wanna get that, I'll put it on my blog. Okay, so I know what you're thinking, Shara, okay, if I get all this stuff from my little like 
home survival kit that I'm gonna need to put together when I move out. Where do I put it? Cause I have a small apartment. Well guess what guys, I do too. I have a really small apartment. Um, I've always had a small apartment for the past like seven years of my life. So I'm an expert in this. And look where I put all my goodies. Okay, so yeah, this is supposed to totally organize shoes, but that's not how I use it. I use this for all the catch-all stuff that I need kind of on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. I've got stuff for the dog in here, like our toothbrush, um, all kinds of random things, but it holds perfectly a bunch of little things and you guys can store all your little, like the putty and my screwdriver. I put right here, and the putty I put right here. My organized chaos, it's kind of organized, it looks a little crazy, but the good news is I can hide it. No one has to know that it's even there, but I do. And when I need it, I know where to go to get it. If you guys have bigger items like a hammer or a drill or a bunch of nails and screws, I find ways on the ground underneath things. So underneath a table or underneath my bookcases or underneath my sofa. I hide lots of stuff under there. It's easy to grab if I need it and very disguisable. If you guys want more of these hacks, by the way, I'm only giving five in each category. I have like 40 on the Live It Journal this week. Um, all the little things that are in my toolkit, my home improvement toolkit, and some of the things I have for entertaining and like just little hacks, little products that I found over the years. I'm gonna give all my secrets, dish out all my little tricks and tips for hashtag adulting, help you guys really just like get over that initial shock of being on your own. It's gonna like really help you guys. So if you wanna sign up for the Live It Journal, I will put the link below. Join the fam, enjoy the beauty of learning how to implement this stuff into your own lives and living your style. Let's move on to the kitchen food portion of this video. Okay, all the kitchen goodness is about to be shared. Okay, my adulting tips for the kitchen and, and or eating in general. Um, get yourself a blender. You can make everything in these fancy exclusive blenders that they make these days. You can make soups, you can make ice cream, you can make smoothies, duh. You can chop veggies. No longer do you need a chopping board to chop your veggies. You can put them in a blender and it chops them for you. You can literally, when you make soup, I've made soup in this thing, you can make soup and it comes out hot from the blender. You don't have to then heat it up. It's actually insane. I highly recommend it. This is my highlight for the kitchen. I make smoothies all the time because I'm always on the go. I'm always running late. Um, smoothies are really healthy. You can get all your vegetables in them. Just put some spinach and cover it up with some banana. It's delicious and it's quick and um, they have really good warranties and um, they're great. So, oh, and they clean themselves. Guys, that's pretty revolutionary and pretty cool. Get yourself a fancy blender. Number two, two, get yourself either a slow cooker or a fast cooker. If you guys are the kind of people that would rather get ahead of the game, plan ahead, put something in a crock pot and then go to work for six hours and come back and like have dinner, then do that. That worked for me in the very beginning. But nowadays I'm not as planned out. I'm kind of more last minute. When I have frozen chicken in the freezer and I need to make something really quick, I can go from frozen chicken in 30 minutes and have like super tender, juicy chicken. Not have to wait for it to defrost and all that. This next one is kind of a favorite of our household. They are trash bags. They are fancy trash bags. They have little hoops. It's like a really big shopping bag, but it's the whole size of a trash can. And they fit around a trash can really well. They are really easy to pick up and take to the trash if you have to throw stuff out or you just need to use it as like a bag to catch stuff. Highly recommend these trash bags. They are awesome. Also, if you guys drink wine, uh, I don't know what else you could aerate. Maybe you could aerate juice. That would be kind of fun. But I got this as a wedding gift. Um, this is a wine aerator, and it's actually like really fun to just like whip out at parties. People love it. It's kind of a cool gadget, but it's also really good at its job, and it aerates wine, it makes the wine taste better, and it's just like super fun and fancy. It makes wine just so much more fun to drink, like as if it needed to be more fun. It actually is. Love this aerator, really cool, and great for those that are adulting over 21. And last but not least, if you live in the LA or San Diego area and maybe all of California, I'm not sure, but plastic bags are technically not allowed anymore. We're trying to save the planet. So most of the grocery stores today, you have to buy your grocery bags if you don't bring them. So I just invested in a couple, they're like dollar, two dollars when you buy them at the grocery store. They're like a tote, like a linen tote or plastic. Now you have to do your own grocery shopping and you guys can all save the planet. Even if it's not illegal in your own town to have plastic grocery bags. I don't know, you're just doing your part, you know? Okay, that is all I have for you guys today. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know that I did. I'm not kidding when I tell you these products are gonna change your life. If you guys wanna find any of the things I referenced today, click the link below, uh, go to the blog, or I think I'll link them below in the description box. Don't forget to thumbs up today's video. Hit the subscribe button if you are not part of the subscribe fam, because we love subscribers and you need to join the Live Your Style family. And speaking of live your style, if you want to take my videos to the next level and not just watch them, but live them and learn how to apply them to your own specific homes and specific spaces, click the link below and join the Live It Journal family. We have this great thing called the Live It Journal and it's amazing. Every single week you guys get a new journal entry that applies and goes along with whatever video we do every single week. The videos are free. The journal entries help you guys personalize it if you want to start living out my videos and applying these great style tips and organizing tips to your own spaces. So I hope you join us, I hope you sign up. Click the link below and find out more. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week and I hope you have a great weekend and all the things. Love you, bye bye.